All right, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And once again, it's another video. It comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakar Kwadash. All praises and glory is definitely due. So, the title of this video, and I hope it's edifying to you, brothers as well as you sisters out there. But this video is mainly for you brothers because you're the teachers, as it is written, um, the flock of the Lord's pasture is men. The teachers are the men. So the title of this video will be, We Got the Talent, Do a Daily Video. We Got the Talent, <clears throat> Do a Daily Video. And uh, what inspired me, of course, to to uh, do this video was a statement we made at the camp. You're looking at a still of our camp, uh, which was Saturday, this past Saturday. Uh, someone had taken our spot and we set up elsewhere. And I kind of like that spot, you know, spot is in it. That, that spot is energetic say the least. Anyway, um, among the many topics we discussed, we made a statement that, you know, we particular Great Millstone, uh, you know, we should be doing the videos, you know, first we started off with, should be doing th uh, three or four videos a week, something like that. And then we kind of upped it. We said, nah, I really, you know, if you have the talent, this knowledge, this truth is the talent. You know, the ability to teach the Bible and understand it, which is a talent indeed, a gift given to you. We didn't give it to ourselves. Always remember that. This was a gift given to us by Yahweh Barshim Yahushai. So that removes all the room for all the room for foolish, foolish pride. In other words, there's no room for foolish pride. You know, some guys behave foolishly proud la abanawa yahawa bahashem yahawa shai bahashem rakakradash double honors to the elder apostles and other bishops of great millstone who rule well salutations to the akium out there on the highways and the byways salutations to the hopeful elect salutations to you speckled birds you israelite foreigners and shalom to the akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so as you see and as you heard from the beloved elder apostle Gabar, the, the decree, the order has been made, and which this what he and what the elder apostle was speaking of is of the spirit, man. Okay, it's facts. Okay, I advise, highly advise you, Akim, to take heed to this video, go and watch it, apply it to your spirit, apply it to uh, to your uh, your walk in this truth. And really, 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 really listen to what the elder apostle Gabar is saying, what he's stating, because it's all facts. It's all love. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, through the spirit. OK, so I'm not going to, you know, he basically made it clear and he basically, you know, again, go, go, go watch this video and, you know, get the understanding from a man who's been doing this work for 30 plus years. Um, but, you know. Just to back him up, which he don't need my backup, but, you know, he inspired me to put this video together. So I'm going to bring out two precepts and we're going to be done. OK, because what he said within two, two and a half minutes was, you know, beautiful. Your pa. So, you know, I advise you brothers to go listen to the rest of the 38, the 38 minutes and 11 seconds. I advise you to go listen to the rest of it. So let's grab two precepts and close it on out. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 62. I know where I'm going. I'm going to start off at verse 6. I have set watchmen. Okay, and we are the watchmen. Okay, we are the watchmen, the seers, the prophets, the mouthpiece of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. OK, because Jerusalem is a people before it's, it's a place. OK, and we are uh, 
if you don't if you don't realize or know, we are literally at war. Okay, just because we haven't went into physical combat, okay, everything is spiritual. We're literally building that third temple. We're literally uh Adawan Rakdazai being a part of the house of Duwada being built up in Adawan Rakdazai to be a part of it. Uh, when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah brings brings it forth when he destroys uh, Babylon the Great and you know puts everything back in order. Okay, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, keep not silence. So these men. That are going to have the full understanding that, that, that are going to be uh, revealed the, the pleasure, the secrets, the Lord's will and be able to confess these words to the elect and to be able to teach and to edify, to break down the prophecies, to, to, to forewarn you, to prepare you for uh, 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 what the Lord is going to bring forth upon the earth, man. These prophets are not going to be silent. They're going to be out here teaching. This, this word is going to be burning in them, man. Okay? They're going to be completely teaching as, as much as possible, man. Okay? Verse 7. And give him no rest. Okay? And of course, we have to, you know, obviously, we have to sleep. We have to recharge and everything else. But even, even when we sleep, man, we still meditate on the kingdom. Even when we, you know... Uh, uh, and be honest with you, man. I, I I honestly probably get about three or four hours of sleep, man, because this place is hell, man. This is a nightmare, man. I'm just eager to you know, to 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 do the Lord's work, man, and very thankful and very sincere and humble, and give Him no rest till He establish. Okay, so we're going to continue to 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 profess these words and to, and to proclaim these things amongst the Gentiles, man, to bring forth the uh. The judgments to speak the gospel, which is the good news. Until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that's what we're, we're, we're uh, you know, uh, uh, patiently waiting for, you know, suffering. OK, let's get one more precept and we'll close it on out. OK, I think. Yep. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20. <clears throat> I'm going to start off at verse eight. For since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil because of the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name. And here's the point for the for the real men that fear, that reverence, that profess, that proclaim these words, that really uh, uh, don't feel right if they ain't doing the work. Don't feel right if they ain't putting up lessons. Don't feel right if they ain't pleasing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and exalting him and going far and above than they than they believe that they can go, man. Okay, that's always moving a step forward each and every day. Okay, always improving and implying and examining themselves to 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 move forward to to hopefully please the Lord and to hopefully uh uh, uh be a part of that uh, uh uh salvation that He's gonna bring forth to His chosen ones, okay. <clears throat> but His word was in mine heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing. I could not say. So like I could not stay. So this word is going to be burning in us, man. We have to profess it. We have to let, you know, these nations know. We have to let our people know. We have to let uh, uh, the hopeful elect know, man. Okay, this is your real vocation, man. This is your real, uh, 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 your real food, man. Okay, your real uh, 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 vitamin C, vitamin D, minerals, everything, man. This eases and... Uh, 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 comforts our spirit, man. Okay, so it's this should be burning in you to 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 just even if it's a a, a one hit or quitter or a ten minute lesson, whatever it may be, man. Even if it's bringing forth a precept and breaking it down thoroughly, and then uh 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 uh, uh, uh breaking down the uh, uh defining the words in the precept, whatever it may be, man. Okay, this word should be in you, uh, you know. 
It's like it. This word should be in you, man. Burning, man. You should be eager to, to uh, bring forth some type of edification, man. So I'm going to leave it right there, man. Like I said, man, I highly advise Akim Wa Akwaf to go watch the Elder Apostle Gabar's lesson. Okay, he went he went real, 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 real hard on it. Very beautiful. I listened to this lesson today while I was working out at the gym, man. And, it, and I ain't going to lie, man, it pumped me up, man. <laughs> it pumped me up and when I was listening to, the, uh, to his lesson, man. Real talk. But I don't want to write this out, man. I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting to the true sincere Aki and Wa Akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom. Proud in this thing of ours, man. You know, especially in these other groups. Because we're not going to tolerate that in GMS, you know. Brother going to be reprimand, reprimanded if he's beside himself in GMS. 